So, I'm going to get started with 100 days of Kubernetes. For those who do not know me, welcome. Nice to meet you. My name is Anais. I've worked for the past few years in the blockchain space and just got started in DevOps about two months ago. So there's so much for me to learn that I don't even know where to start. However, one thing I do know, I have to learn a lot about Kubernetes to use containers properly. I've taken some time to think about what I want this channel to look like, what kind of resources I would like to share with you and who I want to engage with my videos. So I've decided I want to shift more in the direction of DevOps related resources, specifically starting with Kubernetes. So as a challenge for myself to learn more about Kubernetes and tools related, I'm going to start 100 days of Kubernetes. Now you might be thinking, nice, is there that much to learn about Kubernetes? And yes, there is. There's also this really amazing community called 100 days of cloud, which focuses on cloud native applications. They are great. They are linked below. So check them out. And maybe that's the second challenge I'm going to do. However, I want to start with Kubernetes. And once I have the skills and fundamentals in place, I might expand into different areas and then going to do 100 days of cloud. Additionally, I've signed up for the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer exam. Quite a mouthful. Uh, if you already know me, you might be thinking, Anais, why did you sign up to this exam? Well, there are several reasons why I decided to do that. First of all, yes, I provide all the free resources that I come across, anything that is learning related to the DevOps space here in my public Notion page, also linked below. However, I've decided to sign up for this exam. Well, first of all, to have more perceived credibility in the space. We can talk about that separately. And second of all, because I found it really easy to have kind of a standard learning path. So the third, probably most important reason is that I've signed that I've also signed up to the training course for this exam by the Linux Foundation. And my idea is basically to compare the content that I find in the course with free online content that I can find and then provide those to all of you. Now you might think, I oh, that's really unethical. You can't just make something that is paid for public. Well, it's more, I know what's kind of taught inside of here, but what would be the free resource equivalent and then kind of draw a comparison. Was it worth paying for it versus is it worth to find your own path? What are the kind of learning paths that are already provided by the community? And just providing that kind of comparison is probably quite valuable. Also from the perspective of a completely newbie in the space. Bear that in mind. <laughs> so you can, from the Linux Foundation, they offer a bunch of different certificates. I'm going to do this one. Certified application developer. However, there are a bunch of different ones. You can also certify <laughs> to use a blockchain. Apparently that's related. <laughs> anyway, if you want to learn blockchain stuff, check out, check out Near Protocol, the previous company I worked for. They are pretty cool and they have amazing get started content. Anyway, I don't want to make anybody out of business. So yeah, this is really for me to learn about Kubernetes, to learn about uh, anything related that's needed for such an exam and also to have the experience of half taking an exam in the space. Taking exams in the space is quite popular, more popular than in blockchain space. So I just want to draw the comparison, get the experience and have kind of a standardized learning path and then compare the standardized learning path with the kind of resources that I find open source. Now I want to give a separate shout out to Nana because she has a really amazing YouTube channel and I will be using lots and lots of her resources. Now with that being said, I'm going to share daily content throughout those 100 days on this YouTube channel as well as on my blog. I'm also going to continue my weekly DevOps diary newsletter. So sign up to that if you're interested in that. If you would like to show your support, please hit like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to follow along that journey. Maybe it's going to be your journey too. And overall, I hope to see you next time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.